Well, today I am checking out City View Tower Condominium here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Basically, you've got Chiang Mai Road there, Tapei Road there, five minutes to Tapei Gate, five minutes to Kadlawang, five minutes to Lai Kwa Road. Enviable location. Let's have a look at three condo units today, two 64 square meters and 132 square meters for sale. So, I'm just waiting for the guy to show me around now. Looking at three units today, can I have my hands up here? Looking at three units in the City View Tower, which is probably one of the best locations in Chiang Mai, in my opinion. Now, it's an old building, they need to paint it outside. But let's see what the units look like, let's see what the building looks like inside. See so, yeah, how we walk in here. This place has been redone, this is new. Oh, you renovated here, yeah? Oh, nice. Oh, the new lift. That's a good sign. So there's a 100 and how many? How many units? 50. 100, 160. 160 units. And is the, um, the foreign quota available? The foreign quota? Yes, now it's available. Now it's about... About what percent? Now about uh, 38%. 38%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we come onto the ninth floor here. Yeah, I think this doesn't look too bad. Ah, yeah, we can get this one here. And what size is this this uh, this unit? Uh, Thirty-two. Thirty-two. This is a small one, yeah. Not too bad. So take the shoes out. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, okay. So here we have. Uh, does the the light work? Ah, oh, it does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So here we have. Sorry, I'll put this down and take it later. A one bedroom, oh, it's like a studio. 32 square meters on the ninth floor. Please look at that view. Now I've walked past this building, I mentioned it a few times, and it's just a paint outside. If, that was, if it was repainted outside, it'd look amazing. So you've got a studio, pretty low ceiling, bathroom. So this, uh, how much is this unit? How much do they sell this unit? Um, okay, it's all right. 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 million. Okay. 1.1 million. It's not too bad, is it? Um, 32 square meters. But for me, the location is just, oh, it's just Jesus. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Like Chiang Mai Road, Taipei Road. Five minutes to Taipei, five minutes to Kadlawang, five minutes to uh, Loi Cross. So, yeah, let's look at the other ones. So yeah, we're looking at a, still on, still on the ninth floor here. We looked at the one here. Is this one the same owner as the other room? No. Ah, they say they do the same on the door. Oh, this is a bit bigger, this one, yep. How many square meters? Uh, 60, 64. 64. It needs, yeah, completely renovating, completely gutting. So you've got the bedroom here, yeah, completely. No, I just love the charm of the old buildings, renovated to a good standard, but they just need to paint outside. Right, what are these replacing? 64 square meters. How much is this unit? How much? Then it's a 2.5. Can lower. Can, can lower. Here, a little like cubby hole room. And the bathroom we have there. They need redoing. And how many? How old is this building? About thirty years. Thirty-three. Thirty-three years. And mm -hmm. um, oh, have two have two door. So this is like another doorway. It's not your private balcony. Yeah. open okay so 64 square meters but it needs completely gutting and redoing and how about this window here all right one open so yeah this is like the corridor here so if it was me what would be the uh, the policy of taking out this door and putting a wall here you could do that yeah. you could do it i wouldn't want a glass door onto a balcony because 2.5 probably cheaper what's this is that you don't want anything with mold. Look at the window. But yeah, Chiang Mai Road. Ah, you can see Chedi Luang. Oh, 
Okay, we we'll look at the next one. And what is the um, the current occupancy of this building? The occupancy? How many room is empty? What percent? Right now it is. Sixty to seventy room. Yeah. And one hundred room, nobody stays. Yeah. Okay. Now that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> hundred room, nobody stays. I think I'd buy all of them and own the building and we maybe. But yeah, that's too much room. So yeah, we were just in there for reference, and we're still on the ninth floor. And how big is this room? Sixty-four. Yeah. But yeah, compared to other old buildings, you can tell it just hasn't been maintained as well. You could make it really nice inside. You could, but uh, was it worth the investment? That's something you would definitely need to, to consider. If only seventy rooms out of the hundred seventy are lived in, I would tend to buy in sort of around seventy percent occupancy, not less than that. So, so if we spin around here. Yeah, it's just perhaps yeah, it's not popular enough. I don't think this area. For me, it's my favorite area, but of course, Neiman is is a lot more a lot more popular. Right. So, then how much do they sell this room? Same. Same. Because same owner. Ah, the same owner. Two point five, sixty four square meters. I mean, for me, as we can see here, it just needs a, a lick of paint on the outside. This is the exterior of the building here. Yeah, it just needs, just needs painting. I'd say it's on about, I don't know how big the land is, it may be a rye of land. Yes, yeah, some people are living there. So, is it of interest? I mean, you could build this area into your own. Yeah, let's go and have a, have a think and talk about it because, yeah, that's three, three units we've looked at. 64 square meters, two, 2.5 million, 1.1 million for 32 square meters. I think the 32 is actually better value for money, but apparently these rooms are negotiable, so yeah, let's catch up. And I don't think those rooms are, uh, are too bad. Now, the negatives of the building, 170 units, about 70 are lived in, 100 are not. That's negative, and the exterior, it needs painting. Now, I, that's the first thing I said, are you going to paint it at some point? And they do have plans, but lots of people are not paying the maintenance fees. The maintenance fees are only 18 back per square metre. Uh, so that means that, yeah, that building there, if it's painted, if it's rejigged, if it's made to look nice, yeah, I think it would be good. But. As an investment, is it a, a good opportunity? Now, there are two other units for sale, but they're currently rented out, so you'd be, you'd be buying it with a, with a tenant in situ. Like the first one we looked at, the 32, that they wanted 1.9 for it. So, yeah, I mean, that's the building. So yeah, that's the building there. Imagine that painted. Apparently, they're gonna paint it next year. That would look a lot better, wouldn't it? So, yeah, in terms of you know, what it is, what, what your opinion is, 1.1 million, that's a good price. How much are you going to rent it for in that current state? I don't know. It was rented out, um, but someone moved out and they're trying to sell it instead. Does that say something? Yeah, who knows? Some people you know, don't necessarily want to own something and keep it for all the time. Uh, yeah, anything else to mention? No, I prefer the older buildings in Neiman. Uh, hillside. I think Hillside is sort of your premium standard for all the units. That building. The location is perfect. It is, it's perfect. But it needs a bit of work. So yeah, that's it.